Merhaba, hoş geldiniz. Özlem here from Özlem's Turkish Table. Well, I have a lovely um, potato and bulgur patties today to show to you. I'm really excited about that. Uh, something easy, delicious, you can prep ahead of time, healthy, and you can knock up with the ingredients you have in your cupboard. But before that, I'd love to share my happy news is that my cookery book, Özlem's Turkish Table, got the Gorman's Best of the World Cookery Book Award in the Food Heritage uh, category um, last week. So we are absolutely delighted. That is uh, fantastic news for Turkish cuisine, um, Southern Turkish cuisine, uh, where my roots are from. So it is really, really good news. And here is the potato and bulgur patties I'll be making for you. A really lovely, scrumptious, vegetarian and vegan patties that you could, I hope, make uh, with ingredients you have in your cupboard. For these delicious patties, we have fine bulgur wheat, as we have in here. We have some spring onions. We have finely diced, chopped um, parsley. Uh, some pepper paste, Turkish biber salçası, pepper paste, cumin, pungent warm cumin, give us some nice warm to it. Um, and once we make it, it will turn like this. Beautiful, moist, really scrumptious potato and bulgur pads. And we'll be serving this with Antakya's pomegranate molasses, narikshisi as we call it. And that narikshisi did come all the way from Antakya. As a matter of fact, while I was uh, teaching uh, cookery classes in Fethiye, uh, dear Mosaic Bahçe, if you're watching this, dear um, Hüseyin Bey and Deren, they are from Antakya and they make their own pomegranate molasses. So they gave a nice big bottle for me. I'm still using it. It is so good, tangy, delicious, and perfect match to, to this bulgur and potato patties. So, Let's get on and make this beautiful thing. First of all, I need to rehydrate the bulgur and I have some hot water here and I'll pour over the fine bulgur. Now, I have a few things here to, to mention. Um, potato and bulgur patties use um, fine bulgur. Whereas, um, if you want to make bulgur pilaf, we use coarse version. So the coarse version is available literally in every supermarket these days. I mean, I live in England and I know all the supermarkets we have has bulgur. More or less now, more, la, uh, more than the rice and pasta at the moment actually, due to the um corona crisis that we're all facing at the moment so turn to bulgur is a fantastic whole grain so good for you if you can only find a uh, coarse bulgur you could still make fine bulgurs just put your coarse bulgur into food processor for a for about you know once or twice uh blitz it and then you could get into this sort of finer consistency uh, bulgur is a fantastic grain, um, it's a whole grain, uh, but it's not gluten-free. If you rather prefer having a gluten-free option, you can use quinoa instead of bulgur here. For quinoa, if you are using quinoa, please cook ahead of time because it needs more cooking time. Look, uh, about 15 minutes or so just to check the packaging and cook and then drain and then you will come at this stage to add on more flavors. So as you see, I didn't need it to cook um, fine bulgur in a, in a saucepan. I just pour some hot water on it. Ratio is uh, for, for 175 grams of fi um, fine bulgur, about 120 ml water uh, I put pour to it. The, the recipe for this is at my website özlemsturkishtable.com as well as at my cookery book as you see here at page number 221 if you have my cookery book. Right, so now I'm adding more flavors to this lovely bulgur. As you see it's now almost dry. I add the spring onions. I will add this lovely 
condiment called pepper paste or biber salçası as we say in Turkish I think a tiny bit more okay and um, a um, little bit of olive oil and give them a really good mix Biber salçası, pomeran, um, um, sorry, biber salçası, pepper paste is a very um, typical southern Turkish condiment. It adds so much flavor to the, our, you know, casseroles, köftes like this, salads and whatnot. Um, you could get hold of um, biber salçası, uh, pepper paste, via Turkish uh, online stores, Turkish stores. Uh, Amazon, uh, I think, carries uh, more or less. Or you can make your own um, pepper paste. Again, uh, you have the recipe uh, at my blog, Özlem's Search Table, as well as in my cookery book. Right, so that's a really good consistency. And bulgur is now dry. And now I'll add more flavors. I will now show you what I've done before. Um mashed potatoes so I boiled the potatoes um, and then peeled the skin and mashed it if you have any leftover mashed potatoes from say a meal from yesterday this is a perfect way to finish up your um, leftover mash um, for that I will add some lovely warm cumin to the mixture about four um medium potatoes boiled if you are to use 175 gram of bulgur just to give you an idea for the ratio and i will drizzle olive oil here and give them a really good mash and um, a little bit of sea salt and then we'll give them a really good mix it's frugal times and challenging times I know for all of us so um, we turn to simple ingredients that we can get hold of um, in our cupboard if you have lentils you can use lentils instead of potatoes to make the lentil köfte for that you need to cook lentils again ahead of time drain the uh, water um, and lentil köfte actually works really well with some nice sauteed um, onions blend to it I'll make that recipe to uh, my YouTube video so that's mashed potato with cumin and olive oil and we have here fine bulgur rehydrated uh, with pepper paste spring onion and a drizzle of olive oil now I'm gonna bring the whole thing together for that I need to go hands-on so I'll wash my hands again I did that before but it's important even more now to make sure our hands are nice and clean but it will make a massive difference doing this with your hands because you will make sure that everything is blended together well right so I have here the mashed potatoes with cumin and olive oil and I will add my bulgur to it Let's add the bulgur. and it's such a bountiful dish you know because once the bulgur has the water it's really um, bulks up and really you know it turns out to be a wonderful wonderful dish a bit of olive oil and I'll add my Parsley, maydanoz, as you say in Turkish. Now, I have this water with a drizzle of olive oil in it that I will use it to wet my hands. And I have here all my mixtures um, blended. So I'm going to drip my hands there and really give everything a good mixture. I am often asked if folks can do this with a spoon. I strongly suggest you just wash your hands and have a go 
and do this with your hands because doing that you are really mixing everything and combining all those lovely flavors infusing all those lovely flavors into one another you really can't do that using a spoon it won't be blended it won't be as smooth so i highly recommend you use your well washed hands for that now look at the colors beautiful isn't it fresh herbs fresh parsley in it spring onion in it flavored with lovely cumin olive oil in it. all really really good stuff really good stuff as i said you can make this ahead of time you can serve by the side of your grills or casseroles in antakya we love dipping the the patties into the sauce of our you know casseroles like the one like meatballs casserole i have in my blog in my uh, book or uh, you can make the vegetarian version of course so lovely look now it's all really nice and blended beautifully i'm gonna do one more time washing my hands right now again i will dip my hand into this water and all the oil mixture i'll take about a you know largish walnut and really shape this patties well and put it on the top of this nice lettuce leaves i washed and prepared before let's do another one and it's really so comforting um, to cook and play with food especially times like this right let's make another one wetted our hands make a nice patty gently squeeze it so that everything stays intact and put it here beautiful right beautiful so this is potato and bulgur patties flavored cumin and um, red pepper paste and i'll show you the one i made earlier this one i had some nice um pomegranate molasses uh, from antakya and before you serve you can drizzle this beautiful condiment narekshisi over your patties And serve it is so good so so good right here is potato and bulgur patties patatesli bulgurlu köfte i truly hope you enjoy it and it brings you comfort and joy any questions reach me on my youtube channel Özlem Turkish table or my facebook Özlem Turkish table and instagram the same name too afiyet olsun thank you